Hello again everyone and welcome to another Street Fighter 4 match commentary video. Bison! I like Bison. I think Bison's a really cool character, like this intro is just mega cool. And if my thumb didn't become disfigured after 10 minutes of playing a charged character, I might play Bison. <laughs> okay, so to begin with, I'm expecting something, so I do a fireball to stop it, but he did a jump, so that's fine. Okay, and he's very aggressive, and Bison's have to be, really. Dash forward, grab there. And I don't know why he was able to tech that Psycho Crusher. I thought he was my bitch after I block a Psycho Crusher from that range. And a second dash forward and grab after a first failed one. I did not expect that whatsoever at all. Scissor kicks and heavy kicks, which is a pain in the backside. I'm nearly dead now, so I'm panicking on what to do. I was trying to get him to make a mistake, but he didn't. Okay, so that's the first round over. Second round, I'm expecting the same thing, but he does nothing, and that scares me. That really does scare me when they don't do anything. Okay, you have to be careful if he's grabbed. I got him, that's pretty cool. Oh, I tried to parry a, a follow-up scissor kick there, but he didn't do a follow-up until after I'd finished my parry. I don't know if he was waiting for it or what. Okay, I tried to grab him there, but his light kick came out really fast. A good thing to do would be to bait out that particular tech and do a parry instead. I need to get out of the corner, so I did a <laughs> one of those whirly birds, and he jumped into it, which is good. And he's doing his heavy kicks again. They're really annoying. So he's all over the place, but finally I got him. A good thing to do if he's doing those heavy kicks is to do a medium punch palm. I find that goes through about two-thirds of the time, which is pretty decent. So I didn't think I'd stun him with that Denji, but I thought I'd do it anyway. Someone else might stun him, but it doesn't. I shouldn't have focused there for when he did that EX um, head stomp. And so, ooh! <laughs> hey! Double heavy kick from me and him, and I beat him in the face. So on the third round, last time he didn't do anything, so this time I'm going to surprise him with one of them! Yeah! And it got him, it worked. And after a scissor kick, I'm going to parry low, because that's the normal combo routine, is scissor kick, light kick, scissor kick, and a million bloody psycho crushes, and I finally be able to block the right way there. I, you know, he did loads of cross-up ones as well. Ooh, he got me. Oh, I've got him. Right, okay, ultra time. Ultra time. Ooh, a bit early there on my safe jump. Uh, that's fine, you have to hit that. Ooh, he teleported away. He's doing heavy kicks again. I tried to go through his heavy kick like that, but he recovered a bit fast or a bit far away. And ooh, it was a bit desperate by me. I had no health. I expected a Psycho Crusher or a scissor kick. That's a shame, never mind. Fourth round. I need to keep him away. Really, a hell of a lot. Okay, here we go. I can block against him pretty easily. Oops. <laughs> I say that, but I get hit. I like to neutral jump when I anticipate a scissor kick. Safe jump, option select. Yeah, he teleported away, which is good. That's what I want him to do. Oops, I expected something. Oh, and he, he got me. Just as I was about to fly off, he got me. Matter. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he got me. Okay, I get, he's getting me loads. How am I supposed to win this? I've got hardly any health left. Alright, I'll tell you how I'm going to win it. I'm going to do a, an ultra as soon as I finish that block string. And then I've got to keep on top of him now, basically. There, a nice chunk down. I'm going to jump away and then surprise him with a demon flip grab. Uh, it may have been scrubby to do my ultra there. I mean, I didn't think I had much choice. Sometimes I get pressured. I mean, I haven't got much health, and if he hits me with anything, I'm dead, so I thought it was worth the risk. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can't do much after that. I probably could have done a, a light punch palm, but I think that's unsafe if he does block it. I tried to go through his heavy kick there, and it failed. Um, it doesn't work all the time, but it's, it's pretty good. I'll show you later. Oh, I went through his Psycho Crusher there. Oh, that was good. Went straight underneath his head stomp. Block string him out. And another palm. I like my palms. I think that's supposed to be a grab, but it came out wrong. Never mind. Oh, he's so coming at me. There we go. That's what I want. Dash into my heavy punch. And I'm going to build some meter and then keep on top of him, hopefully. Whoa, there we go. Actually, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I know what it was. Okay. He did an EX head stomp, but he didn't have enough EX to do the... EX downfall part. That was lucky for me, otherwise that would have got me down. He got a bit desperate and did one of those, but if it goes through you, it's punishable. Okay, so this one's going to have some bison tips on the end, so 
The end is now. The end is nigh, people. So here we are, M. Bison, or Dictator, tips. Now you may know some of this from other sources or just general knowledge, but I'll go over some things which you may or may not know. Okay, so the first thing I want to discuss is when he jumps and medium punches. Now he can do two medium punches in the air, and but he normally does one at the beginning and one at the end. One at the beginning so it cancels whatever you do if you try and jump, and one at the end because if you didn't jump it makes it safe. So you have to be really careful when he starts doing those. Here I've set Gogan into jump mode, so he's a jumping crazy. And so if he catches you in the air with it, he can go straight into his Ultra 1. And I think maybe his Ultra 2. I haven't bothered checking, but he used to be able to, so I think you still can. Okay, so, but one of the things... Alright, you can stop You can stop jumping now, Gogan. So one of the things that you can expect is that after he's done the first one, expect him to do the second one. You can anti-air this move quite easily. Uh, you can even parry it if you're expecting to do it, because he's always going to do the second one after he's done the first one to try and make it safe. Okay, and the next thing I want to discuss is EX Psycho Crushers from varying ranges. From complete max screen, like this, he can not be punished, and he can punish you. So that super is the fastest move we have. I think it's three frames, and I still can't punish him. But, from a little under... So here, that's not quite max screen. I can punish him, but if you haven't got your super, you can't do much anyway. I mean, you haven't got much that's free frames. Maybe a medium kick. If he goes behind you, so the range is a lot shorter, like this, and he happens to go behind you, you can punish it with a sweep. So staying on the topic of Psycho Crushers, is when he's knocked you down, he has the opportunity to do a Psycho Crusher on your wake up. Now this can be ambiguous or a cross up. This one is ambiguous, that was ambiguous, so that was not a cross up. I was blocking as if it was. So it can be really hard to thing. I always like to assume it is a cross up. But if you if you manage to block it correct, you can punish them. So that's good. You can punish them with your Denjin as you just saw, or you can just punish them with a, a crouching sweep. <laughs> Opposed to any other kind of sweep. You can't stand in sweep. Okay, um So the next thing I want to discuss is Bison's block string. It's good to know so you know when to parry and how to get out of it. So I've put Gokin onto Master Difficulty, or in Gokin's case, Normal. And, um, so this is Bison's block string. It would do a crouching light kick, crouching light kick, light kick scissor, <laughs> enough light kicks for you, and then a light kick again, and then another scissor. But then he'll be at too far a range to do anything else without doing anything. So he needs to do another medium kick to get back in, and then he can do a light kick, another light kick, scissor kick. Whoa, this, all this light kick's making me go all funny. So, he can do about two light kick scissor kicks, but he doesn't have to do the light kick in between, but he normally does. Uh, so I like to low parry at that point. Um, or EX parry. So just be aware that you can do about two when you're in the corner, then you have to do a medium one. So after two, you can block medium, and that might happen. I mean, you can even do a Psycho Crush if you want, so you have to be careful, but... Okay, I hope that helps. Um, here's some things that you probably already know, but I'm going to go over them anyway. You can heavy punch parry his head stomp his normal ones, but you can't heavy punch parry his EX ones. If you try to parry his EX one, you get a massive chunk, a massive chunk of recoverable damage, and then he just hits you like that and takes off absolutely tons. So don't do that, just block. But don't rely on parrying these too much, because he'll obviously just fake it with a, 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 a punch one, and then he can just grab you like that. So use it sparingly. You can parry his downward fist thing, I think it's called Hell's Fist or something, Hell Attack. Devil's Reverse, that's it. Um, so you can parry that, and you do have time to parry the head stomp and then notice that he's gone into Devil's Reverse and parry that, which is good. One thing Bison has is like how light kick in the corner. In the left hand corner, he always ends up on the outside, if you're really in the corner. But you have to block like this isn't a cross up in all situations there, okay? And in the right hand corner, however, he goes always onto the inside. You have to block the first one like it wasn't a cross up, and then block the second one like it is, because it is. Okay, I hope that's helpful. So, the first hit, block up like it wasn't, and then you have to change and crouch very fast. Fast! Okay, so Bison's now going absolutely ape shit with his kicks. I find the best way to get around this, other than parrying, is. Medium punch palm. It goes through them quite well. That one did. 
And this next one actually rules up against him. That's easy. that's weird. Um, I think it goes through about two thirds of the time, possibly. I mean, it's not an absolute dead cert like this. You can get hit towards the end. And regarding those kicks, if he does a heavy kick one and you're far away, you have to heavy punch parry. But if you're quite close, then you just have to do a medium punch parry. Uh, so that's good to know, but I don't think that'll ever come into your game plan. It'll be medium punch or uh, probably X. Yeah. The next thing is anti-airing bison. Now, bison's some of bison's normals are very good in when he's in the air, so... So crouching heavy punch can work, but I find it's unreliable. So instead, I like to do a light kick tatsu, um, or preferably an ex tatsu. But light kick tatsu is what I opt for. Or you can possibly even do a medium punch tatsu. Medium punch? No. You can even do a medium kick tatsu because he's got such a high jump range that you'll have enough time to get a, a medium kick out. Depends how fast your reactions are, I guess. And now if Bisons are really annoying, you're in there just building meter in the corner and doing that Devil's Reverse all the time. One thing you can do is just say, start off and do your Ultra when you see it. And if you wait a bit and he's on the ground, you can always follow up with a Medium Punch Palm. And to do with Bison and Option Select, uh, you've got Denjin, Medium Punch Palm and EX Palm. There are good and bad points for most of these though, so you have to be careful. I like to stick to Medium Punch Palm because it's the safest. But if you do the option select as a safe jump, which is normally the case of what you want to try and do, then when he, if he teleports behind you, then you'll come out exactly the wrong way, and you might get punished for it there. Uh, it's unlikely that they teleport behind you, it's not a thing that's commonly done, because if you don't do an option select, they get battered. But medium punch palm works there as well. And the same thing goes, if, if you do it like a safe jump, you'll just miss him. With medium punch palm, if he... Um, teleport really close to you, but on the same side you'll just rub up against them like that. No gay though, no homo. But um, <laughs> uh, but the odds of that happening is uh, pretty slim. So the way to get around all this um, going behind you business is to do the option select slower. Do the whole thing slower and hit, when you hit him about the head is when you option select it. So then he'll teleport behind you and then when you reach the ground he'll be on the right hand side so you just then you'll blast him with your mega, mega energy. Okay, it's, it's a bit hard to understand, but you just do everything slow. So you jump slower so that when you option select, you're hitting his head instead. Obviously, that can be punished with one of those head stomps if you're doing the ultra. So you have to be really be careful of that. But if you do a medium punch palm, then his ex head stomp won't. It'll miss, and you might be able to punish him for it, or at least be in a neutral state. And an EX Palm will work when he goes far away as well. Um, one thing that you might have noticed in that um, option select area is that when I did the option select early and he went behind me and I did a dungeon the correct way, it went straight through. Well, that's just because the recording obviously didn't get held. When you're playing, you will be able to hold the dungeon a bit or something like that. Okay, hope that helped. Thank you for watching. If you want more information on how to do option selects or safe jumps, then I have a how to practice option select and safe jumps guide, a small little 10 minute thing. Or if you want different types of option selects on different types of teleporters, then go to my Goken guide for that. Thank you for watching.